Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys a comparison between the iPhone 5S all the way down to the 2G. Now, I have done a video like this last year with the release of the original iPhone 5, and I really liked this, so here we go. Now, in advance, I do apologize for the number of hands on the screen. I had to get some people to help me with this, but here is the original shutdown test on all devices. I'm going to let go at the exact same time, so there it goes. Surprisingly, the 3GS was first, followed by the 3G then the 4 and then the 2G. There's something about iOS 6 and lower that actually makes the shutdown time a lot faster than iOS 7, although all devices on iOS 7 shut down at the exact same time, which makes me think, what do they change? And in a second here, they should all be turning off at the exact same time. Now, while performing the boot up test, I just want to let you guys know it's important to notice that from the 5S and to the 2G, there is a massive difference in processing power and RAM, obviously. Also, the software is different, so that could majorly affect this. Now, I wasn't too surprised because the 5S, of course, came in first, followed by the 5 and 5C. What came next was actually pretty surprising. And just to let you guys know, all of these devices are freshly restored, non jailbroken, completely stored. Stock. So the 5C and 5 was followed by the 4S, and surprisingly, the 2G came before the iPhone 4, then the 3GS, then the iPhone 4, and then the iPhone 3G at long last. That was actually really surprising for me to see because these are all running the latest firmwares, and the 2G is obviously not as powerful as the 4. It's just the booting sequence and the way it works probably was changed in iOS 7, so that could be at fault. Now for the last couple of tests, I'm gonna load reddit.com and apple.com, and the 5S is almost instantaneous. Thanks to the extra processing power and the new Wi-Fi capabilities, it's an amazing web browsing device, and it goes downhill from there to the 5c and so on just to confirm all applications have been closed in the multitasking bar where applicable and we're just going to go ahead and load reddit.com and here we go so this is reddit.com launched on all devices at the same time the 5s is king in this test as well as all others then comes the 5 then the 5c then the 4s and then the 4 and so on so what did i learn doing these tests I learned that the amount of processing power is greater, of course, as a generation goes on, but it's marginally less noticeable the higher you go. So if you have a 5, I wouldn't really recommend upgrading to a 5S just based on the fact that you want an extra little bit of power because it has an amazing amount of power as it is. If you're always upgrading to the latest and greatest just based on that little spike in power, you know, this video I just showed you guys that it isn't even that noticeable in your day-to-day -day use. So. These videos I always enjoy making, guys. I really hope you guys liked it as well. Have a great day, guys. Peace.